Holland. Special for this. And how good this is, yeah, me and you. I've been thinking about why we like the same things we do. It feels so natural to me. Good to see you. You as well, man. Yeah, man. How are you? I'm good. First of all, good, congratulations. Good. That's fine. Congratulations on the engagement to Alex. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah. What is it, like six months ago now? Yeah. Yeah, wedding's uh, coming up August 26. Yeah. So we uh, got a, a great venue. All the invitations are out. and we're Lots of just, guests. Yeah, like, about 200. 25. Party of the year. Yeah, it'll be it'll be you super fun. That love you, Ty? Uh, absolutely. That's gonna be fantastic. Yeah, absolutely, man. Well deserved. <laughs> did, did you think that you were gonna find love again like that, like with Alex? I, be honest with you, I. No disrespect to, to former relationships, but I I thought that I knew what love was. Right. Um, and then you know I did a lot of trauma work and a lot of self, uh, a lot of mental health work and just really freed myself of. Yeah of codependency, of, of, tr uh, of, of shame, of right. all these things that really um, was, were roadblocks for yeah. what love is supposed to look like. Sure. So, you know, when you, when you get healthy and you're like, oh, wow, okay, this is compromise. This is, this is beautiful, yeah. you know, and there's, I can honestly say that I've never um, allowed myself to um, be this vulnerable and be this open and fall uh, this this much in love. That's amazing. And feel safe. Yeah. And to know that no matter what, you know, everybody has fusses, of course. Right. You know, you you know, you have a fuss because you trip over the boots and almost break your neck <laughs> in the hall. But you know, you know that um, you know you're gonna have boundaries of not saying something that you can't take back. Right. You know, you look at that person, no matter how frustrated you may be, and, and remember how much you love them. And these are not things I ever thought about. It's just, you know, um, and, uh, and to know that um, there's, a, there's a loyalty here. They're not going to leave, right. you know. And, um, and we did a, a really cool thing because I'm, 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 I'm sober. You know, I work in mental health along with music. Sure. And we did a... Um, um, right up, right up, right up top, about three months in dating, we did a, a my sponsor had us do, had me do a, a monogamy contract. Right. Oh, really? Yeah. So it's just the no, 10 things, 10 things you list that, that honor your partner. Yeah. And, and you sign it. I love that. And we signed it, put it in a frame. It's in the house. And, That's and powerful. then after that, um, uh, these are just things I never thought were possible. We did a, um, what we call a, a, a whitewash of sure. former relationships. What is that? It's just ba like a little personal baptism <laughs> of, you know, just... An exorcism. Uh, yeah, like an exorcism. That's kind of funny. Right. Uh, you know, just, uh, you know, just, just, um, we, we uh, did a, just a, a, a glass of water each. Yeah. And, you know, we just, we just, we read these things and, and did a, a, a water in the hand and just rubbed it on each other's neck. Yeah. And on each other's arms, yeah. and on each other's leg and feet, That's really and cool. then we just said, "This is, this is further tying tying our bi bind to each other." Yeah. So just some cool things that I, you know, I was like, I didn't know people did this kind of stuff. You know, this You're is another level. yeah, it's another level, and it, what it builds is a, just such a mu beautiful mutual respect, right. and 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 a, a little bit. You look at your person that you say, you know what, I felt I felt a little further today. I love it, Ty. Yeah, man. man. That's a good song title. Fell a little further today. Yeah. 
I better write that down. <laughs> you know, it's funny we're talking about all this, side because I was thinking about you the past couple of days, just getting ready for this interview, getting hyped, listening to your music. Oh. And, you know, the concert for Love and Acceptance mm-hmm. that you had last night, and it was a massive success. It was wall to wall, all the people. And I was thinking, man, as your music catalog is fantastic, and we can spend 17 hours talking about that. Thank but you. the legacy that you're leaving in Nashville now is so much more powerful. It's, it's like you're really leaving a mark for society wow. time. You know, it's not anything that I think that I ever planned to do. Um, but I think back when I was 10 years old and tra- I was traveling, I was basically a traveling evangelist doing music with my family. And, um, and you know, um, I love talking to kids today because I get to say, you know what, whatever your religion is, whatever your, your, your spirituality is, yeah. um, that, that is the foundation of love. Yeah. And no one can ever tell you that you that you can't have that. Right. And it was pulled away from me at an early age. Yeah. Um, I wanted to be an evangelist. That's what that's really? what I wanted to do. Yeah. Um, and I wanted to sing uh, gospel music. Sure, sure. Um, but I found out at an early age that that wasn't going to be possible for me because of my sexual identity. Sure. Um, but here all these years later and all this trauma work and all the things all the sobriety all of it, I, here I am, right back to what you just said, yeah. on a platform that I am that teacher, that, that preacher, for lack of a better word, but that speaker that speaks to the music, and I, I just spoke to 3,000 people at a sober conference yeah. last Sunday that did music the night before. What do you attribute that strength, that resilience for Ty? It seems like the comeback is better than the setback, and this is like the story of It's beautiful. I think, I always say this, um, Eventually in your life, you're going to burn the house down. <laughs> you're, you're not going to live a perfect life. Some things are going to happen. Right. But the difference is don't haul the burned down house away. Let that, let that ash be the foundation your new house is built on. Because that builds a strong foundation right. for your blood and bones and your, and your life. Yeah. Um, and you know, I burned a few houses down. Yeah. But I've, I've been able to, to hold on to those lessons and be a teacher and, yeah. and speak without shame yeah. and to some pretty bad things that have happened to me. But they were my dirt road yeah. to a successful life. Yeah. And so whatever your dirt road is, you know, sometimes you got to clean out the weeds. <laughs> so it's been, it's been a great journey and there's more to come. But I'm looking forward to mostly in the future now to, um, to doing things like the Concert for Love and Acceptance. This is our... Eight, seventh, eighth, eighth year, seven or eight years, eighth, eighth year, yeah. yes, and um, to know the amount of money that we've raised in that time, the amount like of lives we've helped. To go to start CMA. Yeah, it's so cool. Like that thing, you know. We are, you know, not everybody can come backstage, but our atmosphere back there is so yeah. relaxed. This year, we we live streamed for the first time sure. through the Black Opry, and that was amazing, and our numbers were huge. Yeah. But I loved having uh, having some folks backstage and. Uh, interviewing people backstage and just talking about, you know, um, um, their experience. Sure. And strength and hope. And as usual. And by the way, this year, Ty, you know, I mean, politically, Tennessee has been, you know, we, we, you know, it's, it's been well, well established what, what's happening on the yeah. legislature and all that. Yeah. Does that give you kind of more strength to like carry on with this mission or is it almost like a little bit like defeating? I think it's, I think it's an amplifier that we need more love. I think it's an amplifier yeah. that we need to scream louder. We don't need to scream arguments. We don't need to, to, to uh, you know, burn, burn down unneeded houses. Right. We need to surround that house with support, love, strength, and just to speak louder into walking in love. Yeah. My grandmother said, you had a thousand hearts on the table. Yeah. You're not going to see race, color, religion, sex. You're going to see a thousand beautiful hearts that God made yeah. that do one thing. What do they do? They give you life. They right. pump love. And so, you know, those lessons have got to be learned. They've got to be taught. They've got to be um, the new foundation f- of, of this society. We're, none of us are going to survive. Absolutely. Yeah. So, man, that's the, the, the platform for me is education. Educate yourself. Yeah. If you're feeling, you know, there's a thing called ignorance, you know. Um, I think, you know, the old saying ignorance is bliss is not true. You know, I, I say ignorance this. Ignorance is pain and suffering. It's, it's, it's pain <laughs> and suffering. And, and, and learning who you are. Right. 
So if you really open up your eyes and say, it's like somebody that's spewing some hate and, and, and ugly stuff, do you really want to be that person? Right. You know, are you changing anything? You're not. Right. You know, you're only hurting yourself. Right. So I think educating yourself and opening up your heart to be the best person you can be, no matter who you are on this planet. You know, and if you're not, then there's some mental health issues yes. and those need to be looked into as well. Beautifully said. Man. So that's my, that's my story. I'm sticking to it. Man, I love it. Well, I mean, you got such a busy day ahead, so let me leave you with this side. We are at CMA Fest. Yes. And, and you've traveled all over the world throughout your career. You've played all over. What is it about? And all around the world. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and always with that great attitude and spirit. But what is it about CMA Fest? That it's home. Is, that is just like, there's my, nothing like it, right? It's what my 27th it? year of just yeah. talking to friends, yeah. you know, singing to friends, um, hearing people's stories, yeah. um, just, and, and, and learning. And I, I, I practice what I preach and opening my heart to uh, all conversations. Sure. It's gonna, only going to make me a better person. Yes. It's only going to educate me. And um, CMA Music Fest to see all the new young artists they're cool you know and, yeah. and, and the, I've, I've terry clark and i said yesterday she goes yeah. how many times have you been called a, a legend i said it's weird <laughs> isn't it she said i know she said i played at legends i was like well then there you go yeah. <laughs> but I'm all the young artists coming up you know they they don't they're like love your music man love what you stand for but most of all love 90s country yeah <laughs> That's the brand. Yeah. No, Ty, at this point, just leaving you, leaving you with this. You're, it's beyond country what you're living. You're, you're leading the way in so many ways. Like, you inspire me, you inspire everybody. So thank you, Ty. Absolutely, my friend. Absolutely. Absolutely. Fantastic. You should thank be you. on ET. You're a great interviewer. Thank you so much. <laughs> Appreciate it. Grace Lear, we meet again. <laughs> Yay. It's like, it's a checkpoint to see you, a checkpoint of joy and happiness. You're always in such great states. Thank you so much. I yeah, I know. Well, what a weekend it's been already for you. It's been really fun. Yes. Can we talk about how I've seen you twice and it's been wall to wall standing ovations? People Aww. just, I'm not turning your horn, you know it's true. Thank you. That's very it's sweet. It's been amazing. Thank you so much. I and Grace, by the way, I have to tell you, like, what does it feel to be with your dad here? Oh, this it's experience. Oh, great. Yeah. I mean, my dad and I, mm -hmm. I mean, ever since I was a little girl, he's been right there. Both my parents, I mean, are so supportive. Right. I feel like, um, my dad and I have a lot of memories um, of me as a little girl and just whether it was American Juniors or singing national anthems for San Francisco Giants games to now yeah. CMA Fest, it's pretty fun. I'm yeah. glad that he's here. And, and it's made it more memorable, right? Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. And we were talking earlier off camera, Grace, about like your energy levels, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> you know, f for something like this, you know, like you're in peak condition since yesterday I saw you, you were great today, great performer with your fans. I've seen you take selfies, I've seen you <laughs> sign hats, sign stuff. What is like, because you're so healthy and you've always been like such, such physical condition, but the mind, mm -hmm. how, how do you prepare the mind for something like this, Grace? Oh, I mean, it can't, I'm not going to lie. I have my moments. My family mm -hmm. sees my moments yeah. <laughs> where I'm a little overwhelmed or sure. I need to eat something or just can't kind of take a minute. Yeah. Um, but I think, you know, a lot about being an athlete was like that. I played division one soccer. So yeah. I think just having that mental toughness and knowing that, you know, and also being, I try to remember to be present, I think is the main thing, because I'm very type A and I'm very like, I need to be organized. I want to know what's happening. I want to know where I need to be, how I need to best prepare, but I also want to enjoy the moment. And I feel like a lot of times um, we can get overwhelmed and I want to enjoy those moments with the fans. Yeah. And like I I remember moving here six years ago, just hoping to play CMA Fest one day. And that's like- And I you moved during myself. CMA Fest, yeah, right? Yeah, I came like the, one of my first week here was CMA Fest. Isn't that amazing? Yeah, it's pretty cool. So it means a lot to me. It to means just, a lot. To be on the spotlight stage, back here with you, and yeah. just meeting the fans. Absolutely. Let me talk about My Mind's Made Up. Yeah. I mean, smash hit. Like, Thank you. song of the summer. <laughs> Thank you. Like, so much. what, Grace? But isn't it amazing? There's like a randomness to this thing, right? Yeah, like, you write so many hit songs, mm -hmm. you write so many great songs, mm -hmm. and this song is going around the world right now. It is like super viral. Mm -hmm. There is like a little bit of an element of like, you just never know which one's going to hit, it's right? true. Yeah, you really don't. And I, I mean, I posted the demo, the chorus of the demo, I think back in March, just because I was like, oh, I, I kind of want to share some new music with fans. Why do you think that that song has re resonated so deeply? Because you were, you, were, you were saying how it started, but why do you think it's touched a nerve with people? I, I just think it's the relatability. I mean, I think every person, man or woman, has been in that situation where you, you get out of a relationship and you made things up in your mind about the relationship or you made things up in your mind about the person that you thought you were falling in love with and 
it's it's one of those songs that it's you're admitting it to yourself, which is really hard to do. Right. You know? And I I just think it struck people in a way that was either like, wow, yes, I know that feeling, or whoa, I just realized that I was doing that. Yeah. And until I heard this song, I didn't even know that I. I was making it up in my mind. Yeah. So it was, it's just been really cool. I mean, the amount of messages and comments that I've gotten have honestly, some of them make me really emotional, like just people healing through heartbreak. And I just think the fact that I was able to write and a song that just connected so well on that level. Means yeah. Well. By the way, Grace, you know, last year, it's like, a, you know, I see you last year. I saw yeah. you this year again, professionally, it's incredible the check marks that you've done, but like personally, mm -hmm. what are some things? that you've evolved, that you've changed in the last mm -hmm. year? Maybe the way you affront certain problems or like gratitude, I don't know. From last year to this year, CMA yeah. Fest, Grace Lear, the person. Oh gosh, I mean, I think, I think it's just, I think a lot of growth um, has happened between last year and this year. I think the music that I'm making, I'm kind of taking more risks and I feel like I've grown a lot as a songwriter. Yeah. Really leaned into the songwriting and um, not just, you know, pulling from my life, but also trying to think about like what songs do people need to hear and right what songs have I not released yet that I think I want people to hear from me right so I just constantly want my fans and everyone to know the real me and I think um, I think I've just grown in amazing a mature way maybe. well let me leave you with this grace um, there's been so many cool things that you've done new experiences but I want to talk about the, the, the when you played for the US uh, the oh, US Women's National like like, like the anthem me about that. I mean it's what, what a full circle moment in so many ways cool. yeah. pretty cool dude I mean for First of all, it was the team that's going to the World Cup, yeah. which hasn't happened, right? Yeah. The World Cup. No, it's about to happen. Mm -hmm. But it was like, that's the team. Mm -hmm. Big Cup, you know, and you're like there. Like, it's mm -hmm. such a full circle That was moment. amazing. The She Believes Cup mm -hmm. is just something that I completely stand for. It's just empowering young women to chase their dreams. And I mean, that's what music is about too or yeah. empowering everyone to chase their dreams but I think it being involved with a sport that is so near and dear to me and then Alex Morgan being a you know one of my teammates from Cal and she was at the game and after my anthem running to give me a hug that's I mean, incredible it was just it was so incredible so and incredible I, I had not sang the national anthem for Geotis I had never sang the national anthem for a national team I've done professional it was a big game yeah, it was a very it was big a big game, game. It, was. it was on just, TV like was, the whole on, thing it was yeah yeah, it was like Saturday Sunday like, afternoon. I remember I was watching so you. Mad when they told me it was going to be on TV because I was like, no, 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 don't tell me that. Oh, yeah. Now I have it in my brain. Oh, yeah, it was like around the country, <laughs> like Sunday, like at 1 p.m. or something. I know, I know. Just yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah, dude. It was, it was a really, really cool. I mean, I'm always honored to sing the national anthem but for our country, but that just was a, just the coolest moment yeah. this year, probably. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. Well, Grace, you said it all for today. Just want to thank you again, just for being cool, for being you, always being a source of light and gratitude and all the good vibes. Thank you. Thanks, Grace.